Hey guys, so in this episode, I will show you how to create this simple POS system in your mobile or in your laptop. It's, uh, you can see it's a basic option. I mean, it's very simple to do. You can use this in your small business, let's say a coffee shop or a small restaurant, wherein you can <clears throat> place an order, then you can add an item and review it. This can be used in mobile or a desktop. You can review your order. So I will show you how to do this simple POS system. All right. So the first thing you need to do is we need to create a database. In order to do that, you have to use the Google uh, account. Let's say the Gmail. All right. So you have to go to your Google Drive. Okay. Then we have to create a new spreadsheet. Okay. Go on the left side. Google Sheet. All right. So you can you can make a title. Let's say I want to make a title my coffee shop. Okay. Let's make this my coffee shop. So the main thing to um, in the system is first we have to create our products or our let's say menu, okay. Then what you have to do is to put here let's say you can make a column. Uh, here let's say we can put, can place a category. Then second column let's say item name. You can also put a bar or like a code. So in this case, we will not do that. And the item name, unit price. And you can put, let's say, an image. Okay. Then you can put as well a description. <clears throat> All right. And then we have to add another tab. We have to make our, you know, when you want to make an order like to punch an order so you can make another tab let's say we make it as order form <clears throat> so in this case i mean in this one we have to put the important in the order is the date then you can put as well a time then what is the item item name and uh, the unit price for that or let's say we can add a receipt number Un unit price and quantity of course And then the total amount. Total, let's say total. So this one is single item POS system. Okay. So if you wish to add, let's say, uh, you can put like twenty items. So you can create like like this. You can copy this and put paste it here so on and so forth yeah so in this case we'll only uh, make a single item pos system all right let's go back <clears throat> all right okay this is a single item only okay you can also make yours like let's say multiple items then you can put the payment here let's then payment you can add as well discount if you like discount tax or goes like that okay we don't do or tax then you can put change or payment type first <clears throat> then change you can wish to add as well more items like tax cashier name goes like that or customer name so let's make it simple okay then once you finish this 
you have to go to app sheet all right so here is the app sheet close this one okay go to app sheet so we are done for our simple database okay it's very easy only then you have to go to my apps then make new app start with your own data let's say my coffee shop okay then category i will do this as sales then choose your data then my coffee shop select it all right just wait while it's loading So it's load already. Just close this one. All right, here we go. Then you go to this left side. There is a data menu. The first thing it's uploaded is this side. The first table is menu. So in menu, you have to click this one. All right. Here is the category. So I wanted to make a category. So you have to put in new. Then goes like that. Click that one. Add. Let's say you want to add a hot drink. Then cold drinks. Then pastry. Okay. As you like, you can add some category add okay then all right item name you can put it as text no problem or uh, then the key is this one and make it as a key unit price click this one select how many decimals let's say i want to put a three what is the currency let's say i want to put us dollar we are all good for that image of course it's an image no need for that then description you can put long text so we're done for that all right then we have to add another table which is our um, new table we have to add the click this one my coffee shop <clears throat> then we have to add our order form so you have an option if this can be deleted can be add so this option is we can delete it's fine okay or read only as you like so in this case i will just suggest you can make an update you can add and you can delete add this table let's review this one order form All right, so then you have to review again the order form. View columns, <clears throat> then date. The date is correct. You click this one and then use long date format. Okay, you can also add a formula, let's say every time you open the order form i want the date to be set by today so you have to put today like this and save it all right then time you can ignore seconds also here you don't want too much long receipt number i will show you later how to customize your receipt number let's say a serialized receipt number you can do that as well item name it's fine unit price click this one i want it in three digit and a us dollar so it's automatically here you can choose also as you like then quantity all right it's a number of course just i don't like this like with comma payment type payment i mean it's a price as well so i can put three digit and us dollar then also the payment 
all right for the payment type we will uh, make it as enum this one so you can decide whether you want it by add values cash card as you like okay change of course this is the customer change you put it as price then click this pencil three digit select currency i want it this one and click all right so we are done for this click save all right so there is like a warning date cannot be used like this so if it goes like that ignore it all right then we go to eux you have first go to menu aux you can choose the view type calendar deck table gallery you can choose that one you can choose the location okay we can as well preview your application here we will preview the application that you're creating now so it's still no so this is the two all right let's continue so i want to sort it by item name it's fine so i want to use card view category it's fine it's fine all right let's leave it that then we go to the order form the order form i want to use it as a let's say a table view okay then i want to put in the right sort by item name it's fine or you can sort it by date and then group by or group by date then group aggregates i want to see the income <clears throat> all right where is it some some top up then you can also change the display as you notice the display is nothing here right so you can change the display let's say order let me see if there is any card here new oh this one i will use this one okay and also i want to change also the menu as you can see there is no icon so the menu i want to put go to display Let's say coffee do we have yeah coffee what is this one all right when i save it, it goes like this let's go back here see it's changed already both the then what we will do so this is pretty dull there is no color uh i want this to have a design see there is no design it's pure white then what you will do go to aox go to brand so i want it something darker you can call this dark then i want to change the logo so for the logo guys you can change it easily you can simply go to google okay let's say i want to use the logo of starbucks starbucks okay so go to images okay so in the images let's say i want to use this logo okay what i will do i will just right click copy image address you put it here custom go back there select all save let's try huh, if it's working the logo should be sync the application see it's become dark now you can add some colors also this so this is my starbucks logo <laughs> all right then uh, i want the background let's say i want to make see i want to have like a background so you can also let's say i want background of costa all right so i want this background for example what I will just do is which one the nice one 
let's say this one right click copy image address go to brand background custom paste the url and also launch in a uh, late let's, let's do one by one for you to understand all right so as you can see we will refresh this one all right let's say i want to add an order there is a background you can see all right now we will, what we will change is this white launch image so we can also change that one let's say i want to what is caribo <clears throat> Let's say the launch image is this one. Okay. Copy image address. Go here. Launch image. Custom. Delete this uh, URL. And paste the one. And click save. Alright. Let's try now. Let's try. Should be change. Yes. It goes like that. So now I want to add a menu. So we are good for this. All right, I want to add a menu. Just click plus sign. What is the category? Let's say hot drink. What is the name? Americano. Price, let's say $2. I want to add an image. So if you're using a smartphone, it can be, goes like this. And it automatically opens the camera. Since you are using the laptop, so I will, I will upload the image. I already downloaded some from Google. Open it. And description. You can add description as you like. Then save it. Fresh. So we created our first uh, menu or product. Okay. So there is no image here. I mean, yeah, it's showing now. Then I want to add an, an order. So, I want to click order and plus sign. Alright, so there is a date, time, receipt number. Let's say receipt number. It, I mean, it will automatically create it. No need to type. But this time, for the sake of this video to create app, we will just do it manual. Let's say one. Item name. I want this item I want this item this this menu going here so what we will do we will just do like this <clears throat> go back to order form we will do some formula so go to item name make it as ref reference ref okay <clears throat> then se select the table menu okay then done make sure that the key column and menu is the item name then i want as well when i make an order when let, let's say i want to make i want to order ex uh, americano the price it's automatically coming here okay here so we have the price right the price for that i want it to go directly here so what we will do as well we go back unit price we can add a formula so you can all right guys so what i want is uh when i order americano the price should should be automatically in input here like auto populated so in order to do that i have to go back to my app editor first thing you have to go to order form find the unit price so you have to put a formula for that to do that go to auto compute go to app formula you can make a formula like any then select what is the table name the table name is menu what is the column name it's a uh, unit price <clears throat> the unit price okay 
wherein this row let's say when you go here you make an order so this row under this row close it dot item name when you say item name this item okay is equals to the item name in the menu okay item name then double double parenthesis then should be work if it's green meaning it's correct save then let's go to our application doesn't show right now what we'll do discard it refresh the application then go to order form like this let's say i want to order americano the price it's auto automatically coming correct then i want to add one to americano so there should be like a total here so in order to do that you go back to your application go to total we can apply a formula again so the total we will change it to price and i will make it as uh, three digit and us dollar so you have to add, add the formula so go to auto compute go to a formula so i want this column uh this quantity look for it multiply asterisk multiply by unit price so if how many this one how many how many quantity it will multiply automatically then let's try if it's working yeah all right go back here refresh this uh, system so order form i want to have an item name it's americano it's, there's no total right i will add let's say two so it's correct it's, it's correct correct then the payment here we go for the payment if customer pay let's say the total is six dollars and he paid ten there should be a change of four right so it doesn't reflect same uh, so what you will do is go back again there go to change put a formula auto compute then what you want is so we will do subtraction correct so look for the uh, total minus minus the payment okay so let's try now done save it refresh the application we will change later on the picture it's kind of blurry so here again i want three so the payment should be so the change so it's showing like this so it's showing again change so what we will do to avoid this uh, showing still we don't have payment and he has a change as well of six dollars to avoid that go to change change column show click this one so we will only show this column so you go to this row if it's like uh, if the payment is not blank so we will put is not blank then show you can only use this blank uh, payment okay so if the payment is empty so the change column will not show so let's try all right let's go back refresh again so order form let's go here so let's say three so see you cannot see the change column when you add a payment then you did you see it's four dollar change okay so i want also 
if I order Americano, I want to see the picture. We can do that also. Alright, so what you will do, go back to your uh, order form. You can add a virtual column. Okay, so you can just name it as uh, photo, whatever you like. We need to add a formula. Okay, same formula with the a unit price you can go any select this time I, um, I want to select the column here you can see it's what's the name in your database it's image so I want to put it as image okay just wait Okay, we're in this row, this row, that item. Item name is equals to the item name of the menu. Okay, then do, let's try. Okay. Then let's try, let's refresh once again. Mm -hmm. Let's make a new order. Receipt number one, for example, Americano. So I will order, let's say, f uh, two. Two. Payment is 10. So you can see there is a photo, but I want something like a writings here. How many I ordered? Let's say I, I ordered two, it should be uh, times two here. Okay, so in order to do that, it's simple. Go back to your, here to the photo. You can add the display name. So we're gonna use the, we will use a formula. Okay, so the formula for this, click this display. Use concatenate. Concatenate. This is like merging text. So I want this uh, double coated times. So comma, I want the quantity. So let's say uh, quantity times three, then comma. Then I want the name of the, of the order. So double coated, let's say I want to put a, a dash sign, double coated comma then I want you got to go to the item name where is the item name that's and then you want to display the price it's fine you can do that so double coated dash then go to the total amount total column so it will summarize click save save it Then let's try the this thing. It should be working. Order. Then item name. Quantity two, for example. Payment ten. Cash. See, two times Americano, but the problem is just saying four. So in order to solve that, you go back to your. Uh, order form table go to the virtual column photo you can go to your display as you can see it's just i want it showing like four dollars so go here so i want to add in the the last portion i want to add so double coated text dollar sign double coated then come close this So let's try. Go back there. Let's refresh this one. Okay, let's make another order. One item Americano. 
quantity two payment is ten <clears throat> all right see so it's showing two times americano at four dollars correct so once you save it refresh it upload you can also uh, if you want like an auto saving you can i mean once you save it it will upload automatically you have just to go to your here behavior offline sync this delayed sync uh, remove the delayed sync and save all right so here i have an income of uh, today february 12 four dollars if you wish to edit it you can edit the order if you got mistake like this okay and also this this is how you do it all right so now you know when you make an order i want the receipt number to be automatically populated so what you will do goes like this go back to your database click on a i mean make another table so i want this table name as receipt number so in the receipt number you can just put here receipt number that's all you have to do then you have to make a formula so in the google in the spreadsheet you have to click you have to type equals then query then go to menu i mean to order form this side okay so a2 A2, remove this 7, close it. Okay. Then format this one as number. Okay. What happened? Why it's too much? Wait. So order receipt number is C. So we have to change it to letter C. C. Okay, there we go. So... I don't want it like a double digit. I want it only like single digit. Only this. All right. Go back to your app. You have to add a new table. New table, sheets in Google Drive. Then go to your My Coffee Shop app. I mean database. Select receipt number. In this case, I want it only to be read only. So I don't want to edit it. Add this table. All right. Then, in order to make the receipt number serialize, you go to your order form here. View columns. Go to receipt number. So receipt number, I don't want it to become, I don't know why it's showing ref. It should be not it should be showing only like number convert it into number um, then you go to uh, auto compute you go to initial value then we have to create a formula so the formula for that is you type max max means it will find the maximum number to the designated table uh, the table name is receipt number correct receipt number then put the column which is the column is the receipt number also here this is receipt number and this is the table this is the column name go there receipt number make sure the spelling is correct same name with the table and the then close it plus one then close all right now let's try this formula just a second so it doesn't it's invalid so you can put another one here all right let's save this and try the so now as you can see we have number one receipt so when we make a new order it should be number two the receipt number now we will try all right let's make a new order 
So, see, it's automatically coming number 2. Alright? So, that's how this uh, application works. It's very simple to make. You can also add some twists like reports or design as you like. Okay? So, how to change this color? If you don't like this color, just, just a quick recap. Go to AUX, UX, brand. Let's say I want the color, I want it like this, full. And then the color I want, let's say, different, let's say, orange. Okay, I want to do like that. You can choose this one and save. It will change the color. But it's uh, dark mode, yeah? You can check. Okay, let's see if it's applied already. See, it's applied. I should like you can do. And also, I will show you in the mobile application how this works. Um, so guys, this is how it works in mobile. As you can see, it's very simple to do in mobile as well. As you can see, I go to item name, Americano, and it shows here. Okay. And also adding menu, it's very simple. You can just click the plus sign. Then, um, with menu, plus sign, item name, hot drink, for example, let's say latte, unit price, let's say one, one dollar. Then the photo image, you can just click camera and you can directly take a photo, as you can see. Fix that and click save. So that's how it looks like in mobile. And I hope this helps you a lot. And I mean, you learned something in this video. And please uh, share your feedback at the comment section. And thank you so much for watching.